Alright, and we are live. So greetings, entertaining people of the internet, and welcome to the bar. I am Sippy Cup, your humble bartender and entertainer for whatever time of day it happens to be for you. And welcome to Sippy's First Drink. If you're unfamiliar with Sippy's First Drink, what we do here is I have a variety of demos and games that I try out for 30 to normally 30 to 60 minutes a pop. And then I give you my unfiltered first impressions review. Now, I say normally because it's Steam Next Fest, and I'm trying to get as many of these done as I can. So the minimum time has been reduced to 10 minutes. So, I have had to use that a few times. Um, for the most part, though, we're sticking around like a 15, 15 to 30. What am I doing to my hair? I don't, I don't even know. 15 to 30 minutes. Um, and the next one that we have up is Etora. Etora is a Metroidvania. The demo title screen says um, that they're starting you more towards the middle of the game to give you a better idea of what the game has to offer. And I think that's actually really cool. So, let's hopefully try this one out. As always, our timer does not start until the end of the opening cutscene, if there is one. Also, I don't know why you would go with that font. Um. But hey, whatever. Not gonna knock it. Okay. So you're uh, telling me there is a connection. Apparently. It was the plague itself that assaulted us after all. Hey, friends. I just finished retelling of your grand adventure. Do you think oh. she mentioned the utter destruction of the... Ro okay, you have a talking sledgehammer staff thing. Uh -huh. Did you blow anything up? Not really. The plague creature tore the place apart and squished itself. I just gave it a little nudge. That's a relief. <clears throat> but the plague creeps closer still. Undoubtedly you've seen it. I fear that the plague spread out from the world tree. If this is true, then the entire forest is, is in unfathomable danger. And you want Get this scientific genius and this terrific Dang. warrior to head Get there and investigate? Off. Obviously not. Did her eyes just start glow? Yes, her eyes just started glowing at that exact moment. That was kind of cool. Right. I should head there myself for an audience with the guardian of the world tree, but I have to take care of the village first and foremost What's the Come issue in. then? We'll get your crazy sister there. No problem A uh, mm. seems to trust you I have no choice but to accept your offer His other hand is his tail seek out Dahlia the guardian of the world tree is everybody's other hand a tail? She tends to the realm surrounding it in the green abyss. Because I just noticed the blue one's tail has fingers. Being like her surely knows how to handle the plague. Oh, brother. You know you can count on us. And listen, sister, please, for Nakukin's sake, no more bombs. You're about to tread sacred ground. My conscience is clear. Okay. Uh. I just used, uh, my There we go. I I had a uh 
Yeah. Fetch us some pale feathers and shards. Clobber them to improve your weapon. Okay. Do I have any of those things? Uh... The lack of any noise when she's doing that is really weird. Increase stamina. Like, this is completely silent, and that's really uncomfortable. Not enough. Oh. Leave. Okay, I just want to, like, get get on with the fighting. Like, if I end up playing this game in its entirety, yeah, absolutely, I will want to know all of these characters' stories and all that. 100%. But right now... I do have a dodge too. Right now, I just want to get into like seeing the game. See, I have a dodge. It uses a little bit of stamina. so far. Uh, okay. Is this the direction I'm supposed to be going? I, I literally have no idea. supposed to be going no fucking clue I'm getting like flashbacks to uh what the Okay, that was not worth it. Um I'm getting flashbacks to Dustin Elysian Tail. Even where I'm supposed to be going, I fucking don't know. I should have been paying more attention. Whoops.
Oh, I have a crawl. Cool. I can also wall jump. not have a double jump. Absorb. What am I absorbing? Is that a good thing or a bad? That is really dark. Did I just absorb some plague shit? I just got my double jump. I was literally just saying I don't have a double jump and now I do. Thank you, game, for not being one of those that says your double jump only counts when you fucking land on the ground. A legitimate annoyance of mine is when a game is like, your double jump will only count if you, uh, will only recharge once you touch the ground as opposed to, like, touching a wall. why I was suggesting that I oh fuck oh fuck I need to heal. quite sure if or how I can refill my health pot. Crouch seems to be super, super sensitive, but those are just niggling issues, nothing major. Right now, I'm just trying to get to whatever the next OW story beat is as quickly as possible. Also, save would be nice. 
No. Uh, the ability to drop and not jump. Because I was pressing down and it was making me jump. Feather that allows me to do upgrade -y stuff. Okay, each aura. I didn't write down the full name earlier. Uh, save sometime. Be groovy. There we are. Oh, very pretty. I definitely, okay. Having a way to recharge out my health pots aside from just the uh, save would be nice. I'm just kind of running from one end to the other. Like, I've, I've gotten a basic idea of combat against the tiny. Okay! that's a bad thing that's trying to kill me or what, but... Really, I'm, I'm wanting to find a boss. I want to see what kind of spectacle is a boss in this game. controller came unplugged at the worst possible time.
Okay, that feels like an insult. Because it was very obviously a thing. about you oh maybe this is the plague stuff that they were talking about earlier in the game something that I would know something about if I were playing the full version of this I'm guessing oh that looks awful This is the green abyss. I'm just gonna keep going this way. Oh, hey! A cutscene. Boss fight? Hey! Ah, yeah, Structure must be Dollar Sanctum. Still looks like part of the forest to me. Let us take the lead. Okay. Boss fight. Nope, this is just going to show off the rest of the game. I was hoping for a boss fight, but... Or at least, like, showing off a boss, like, this is what a boss in the game looks like. Oh. Maybe. But, like, they showed a huge amount of space. Which is... Far more... boxes on these things are kind of trash. Cool. Oh, that's fine. you Okay. 
Ah. Oh. An actually kind of cool villain, uh, bad guy design, and it's like super easy to murder. Why? Okay. There. Controlling, uh, aerial control feels really, really awkward. I lost momentum. What the fuck? Oh, come on. Seriously? Oh, fuck's sake. There. Jesus. That should not have been that fucking difficult. What the fuck? I mean, that was a cool looking enemy. I almost feel bad for murdering him. But there was a chance he might have been a boss, so. Boop. Okay. I think that's. Yeah, that's. Yeah, okay. I really just want to see a boss. This should be a boss. This has got to be a boss. This has got to be a boss fight. No? Okay. Cool. Um, I got the idea. I was really hoping for a boss fight in that, but it's fine. Uh, I got, I got the general gist. I think it's pretty good. Um, I don't know why they chose the font that they did, but, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wishlist this. Um, it's pretty, pretty good, pretty enjoyable. I look forward to seeing what the rest of the story actually is. Um, I feel like I got a general idea. The, the one thing that I didn't get a feel for really is this 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 that's a boss that looks so fucking cool here let me bigger fight that for you look at that that that's a cool looking boss i would have liked to have fought something like that but it's fine um i'm into it i'm into it uh except for the jumping the jumping is, like, excessively floaty. The momentum needs a little bit of work. But, and the, the combat feels like just whiffing at the air. Um, things go down. Whiff, whiff, dead kind of shit. So, but overall pretty good. I give it, I give it an 8. Um, do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you wishlisting that one too? Or you just don't care? Let me know down in the comments below or over here in the chat. But that is going to do it for this episode of Sippy's First Ring. So if you're new to the channel and have enjoyed the content, please do consider giving me a follow. 
Check me out on my various other social media at Sippy Cup Games on Twitch and Twitter and Instagram. Um, YouTube.com slash Sippy Cup. Check me out where I stream this live, which is twitch.tv slash Talking Boxes Network. Um, and also check out our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Talking Boxes Network, uh, where we post video game news and reviews and stuff of that nature. So do check all that out. But that is going to do it for me for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I raise my glass to you. Laters. <laughs>